I'm ready to live. I'm ready to take my life back. Like, I really put my life on fucking pause for 10 years. Like, life really passed me. And not... They counted us out. They didn't think that we were making so I wanted to come on and just kind of introduce myself, um, kind of give my reasons on, you know, starting my channel, why I wanted to start a channel. Y'all forgive any of the banging in the back because they are working on the apartment complex this morning. Um, but, um, excuse my um. I'm getting used to this whole recording myself. Um, so I just wanted to get on here and just introduce myself, introduce myself, uh, kind of tell a little bit of my story and why I decided to do this YouTube channel. Um, first, my name is Nanisha and I am 43 years young. <laughs> so I'm 43 years young and I just, for a long time, I've been debating about doing a YouTube channel. Um, honestly, I had the idea of doing a YouTube channel um, really like in 2009, like 2008, 2009. Like, I wanted to create a channel that, you know, when YouTube was first popping and people was doing, you know, the outfits or showing, you know, how to style and stuff because... I'm really into fashion um not like i'm not gonna say i'm really into styling and putting things together and making things you know look unique and cute um so i wanted to do that but then you know i uh, decided on doing kind of like an instagram page doing that so um but that didn't work out for whatever for for, for many reasons um but I just, YouTube has always been something that I wanted to do. And then um, 2008, I was freaking, what, 29, 28, 29. So <laughs> it's been some years and it's still been like haunting me or still like a urge to want to do one. And then, you know, um, but then now, like in my later years, it became a thing of feeling like, okay, am I too old to be trying to do this? Am I too old to be trying to be a content creator? And just all the things that your mind tries to play tricks on you from doing things that you desire to do. That's what my mind was, was telling me, you know? So, um, yeah, just a lot of fear. So I think I had to in order for my channel to be successful, which I know it will be, <laughs> um, I had to go through experiences and just learn how to not care about what other people are gonna say, not care about what people are, are gonna say or what they think. Cause you know, that's the main thing that be in our mind when we wanna do something different, when we wanna try something new is what other people are gonna say or what, you know, people who have known us don't know us for being this person or doing these things like what are they going to say about this new version of you about this new uh person that you're being so you get in your head a lot about not doing things because of what other people are going to say or think or do so i am past that but not past that if that makes any sense um I know that this channel will just help me even more with not giving a fuck about what people say or think about my life. Um, so that's just the space I'm in. Um, and that's just the space I want to start documenting as far as me reclaiming my power back as a woman, um, as a human, period. Just reclaiming my power and truly um, being who I want to be and discovering for the first time things that I really uh, wanna do with my life, discovering things that I really enjoy, discovering just how to be me <clears throat> without the validation of other people. Um, I think that's been you know, my whole life story of wanting validation from 
family, from friends, from lovers, you know? And so, and by the way, I'm a recovering uh, people pleaser. So if you are a people pleaser or recovering, you understand what I'm saying as far as my life has taken the back burner to a lot of things and people. Um, And that has gotten me nowhere. It has gotten me nowhere of wanting to please everybody else but myself. Has gotten me nowhere of doing what everybody else has told me is the right thing to do for my life. Has gotten me nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. <laughs> nowhere. But pain and fucking sorrow. Okay? So, as we're coming out of that, as we're coming out of that, excuse the, the truck, that was confirmation. That what I'm saying is true. God said, boom, boom, boom. Yes, ma'am. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to document that me really stepping into me for the very first time at 43. So I just want this channel, um, honestly, to just be an inspiration for other women, men, but honestly, mostly I'll be, uh, my channel is for women, but to show that we still have life to live like after 40 shit after 30 like we still have dreams and aspirations like I feel we were made to believe like once we get a certain age that you know we'll have life figured out everything will run smoothly and that has been a lot like life still keeps life in we still keep going through trials and tribulations we're still learning and discovering about ourselves about the people we love about life at all ages until we close our eyes so it's like i want to live my life to the fullest until i have no more life like this is the only life i'm gonna get and so i want to live it i want to live it doing what i fucking want to do I want to do it listening to my fucking spirit and my heart and my relationship from God. Like, I want to live my life the way it was designed for me to live. It's mine. (laughs) It's nobody else's. No one knows me more than me. No one knows my capabilities. No one knows nothing. Okay, I'm not getting in. Can I just sit? I'm sorry. Okay. I ain't getting in there. Thank you. All right. So, um, yeah, I told you they just got on me too. <laughs> Look at that. But he said I can sit. Look at that. Why you sweet? But, um, yeah, so I just, I'm at a point of like, that's just, I want to document it. I want to just to see myself develop and see myself grow into the person that I've always wanted to be. Like, this person right here, this version of me is the version of me that I've always dreamed of. Where I'm just free. Free mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Like, I'm free. We're working on a financial freedom. Okay, but everything else, like, I'm free. I'm here. I'm present. You know, like, I'm aware. I'm aware of myself. I'm aware of the things that I desire to improve about myself. I'm aware of you know, just who I am now, the power that I hold, how powerful I am, you know? So this channel is just basically like an inspiration. Like I will do videos of the things that, and I'm trying uh, everything, you know, people will probably be like, oh, she going through a midlife. No, it's not a midlife crisis. It's a now I know who the fuck I am. And I'm going to do all the things that I've ever desired to do, but I didn't do because of what people have told me of what I've been trained to believe. So it's not a midlife, it's a now I finally got my life. (laughs) So I'm gonna be doing everything that I desire. I'm gonna do whatever the fuck my heart tells me that I want to do. Um, So yeah, that's just the space that I'm in. And um, like I said, I'm gonna be documenting me, you know, just the things that I do, the things that I try. the places I go but I also want to you know um have videos where 
it's dialogue and that I just pass on some of the gems that I've learned along this journey. Like I've learned so much, you know, about myself, about life. You know, I've um, lived with depression since 2000. And, um, I was diagnosed in 2000 and when was I diagnosed? No. 2000 and uh 14 2014 I was diagnosed with depression so that's something that I've been living with since 2013 and like honestly this year has been the best year of my life thus far like that I have truly seen through my healing how my depression has released me you know like I have way better days than I do bad days now. So, like, I just can't even explain it. How much of me healing has helped with my depression. Um, so, I that's one thing. You know, I've learned a lot of things through my depression. I've also lived with lupus since 2000. I was diagnosed with lupus in 2005. So... I've learned a lot through that. Um, I also uh, started having alopecia in 2000, and, and uh, I believe it was 2000. And fifteen, 2015, maybe I started developing alopecia. So that's something that I'm living with now because as you can see that's why my hair is bald that's why I continue to keep it bald um so living with that I've been um I've been married and divorced um I've learned a lot through that I've been uh <laughs> in a in a serious relationship and uh broken like broken to no end heartbreak so those are things like I've been through a lot and at the time we don't realize that we're going through these things to develop our character to develop who we are to become the things that to become who we are designed to be in order to receive the things that we want and it's like now I'm so grateful for all those experiences because now I can connect the dots I can see in hindsight why I went through those things, why those things were meant for me, you know? So that's just a little gist of what is going to be going on on my channel. I'm going to try and like, not going to try, but I will, I, I'm always my authentic self, but you know, on camera, it's kind of different. Um, so I really want to be as transparent as I can be or that as my heart will allow me. Like, I don't, like, I'm not going to be, there are some things that are sacred and that I'm gonna keep for me, you know? But what I feel that can help others or inspire others, those are the things that I wanna share. Um, and so just be patient with me because I'm finding my way on this, on what, you know, I wanna share, what I don't wanna share. Um, how I want my channel to be, how often I want to post, um, things like that. So, as anything, I'm learning as I as I go. I'm learning as I grow. You understand? So, that's the whole basis of my channel. Like to see, like we're gonna go through ups and downs. Things ain't gonna work out, but they do work out. Um, just, just a real authentic experience, and just my personality. Like I have a very big personality. Um, I'm loud, I'm wild, I can be, but at the same time, I can, I'm very, like, calm, subtle, um, like, I'm very, and I'm a Gemini, <laughs> well, we ain't gonna blame it on that, but we all are like that, like, I feel, but for me, as much as I can be out there, I'm very, I'm very much an empath too. Like, I like being alone. I like being with myself. I like quiet. I don't like to be around a lot of people at times. But at the same time, I'm the party. I want, what's up? Like, I'm trying to go, like, I want to be in it, you know? And then too, again, I just came off, like, I was the, I was in a real 
that depression since like 2012. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really just coming out of that. Like I'm really just coming to a place where it's like I'm ready to live. I'm ready to take my life back. Like I really put my life on fucking pause for 10 years. Like life really passed me. And not in a way of like it passed me, but like I was not involved in my own life. So it's like I'm ready to get back to that. I'm ready to get back to me. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm excited. That's why like I know great things are coming because I'm just prepared now. Like I'm ready. Like I'm ready for war again. You know what I mean? Like I went through some battles that kind of caught me up. And it's like kind of drained me, kind of like left me. But like a bitch done healed, my wounds done healed up. Like I'm still in recovery. But I'm red. You know what I'm saying? I'm red. So that's basically what you're going to get. Um, so I just wanted to share that just to give a glimpse of who I am because I like to see that um, when people share that, that's older because I feel like we're, with us when we're older like we're scared to do new things step out and everything because we're comfortable life is comfortable we kind of already reached those goals that you know we, we once had but I just want to show somebody or anybody like if you still have those urges and you still feel those inspirations to want to do something new to try to, to do something different to even leave something that's not for you and start all over like i hope that my life will give you a little hope a little inspiration of yeah it's possible yeah i can do it too yeah i'm however old but life ain't stop i'm still life don't stop at, at fucking uh after your 20s or after your 30s you know what i mean like nah you keep you keep living you keep living and i'm gonna keep living so everybody that want to live hop on board we out of here <laughs> we got flights to catch you, you you feel me so that's basically what my channel is going to be about you know and if that feels like something that you're interested in watching or getting to know me or anything like just you know like five ways of swine okay so that's it and i hope y'all enjoy you know the content um yeah but i don't know if i said yeah i kind of like but yeah i just i don't want this channel to feel like a guru channel or me trying to tell you guys what to do or because I feel like everybody's path is different you know I may go through things or you may see things that allow you to connect with me and allow you to say yeah I went through that but all of our experiences are different I don't expect you to do what I'm doing but it may be something that you can take from it and do it your way you know to make it work for you we all are fucking different. We all gonna see things differently because of the way we was raised, because of the way we were brought up um, and the things that we've seen and experienced in our life. So we're not gonna do things the same. We're not gonna have the same perspective all the time or maybe never, you know? But um, yeah, I just hope to be an inspiration for you to do it your way, for you to find your voice, your lane and stay in that bitch okay that's it that's it so again i hope y'all enjoy um this is a peaceful <coughs> you come over to this house it's peaceful it's positive it's inspiring okay we're not I'm not doing the back and forth. I'm not fighting. I'm not. I, I'm not. So, so please keep it respectful over at our house, okay? Keep it, keep, keep it cute over here, please. And I thank you ahead of time, okay? But yeah, I can. I'm just excited for where this journey is gonna take me. I'm excited for the the people that I will meet and interact with. Um, yeah, and we're gonna do this thing called life and fuck it up.